mean, now you're kind of bigger. Look at those arms, love that. Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today is basically going to consist of me getting ready because I'm gonna travel up to the Bay Area to go see my family. A lot of cleaning, a lot of packing. I'm gonna work out, I have to go pick up packages. So much shit and I'm just gonna vlog it. Just fuck it, why not? Wow. Welcome to my car. I got a 2021 Mercedes AMG GLE 53 Coupe, which is fucking insane because like, bitch, what the, f what the fuck? I'm really grateful. I'm so happy with this car. It's literally everything I wanted in a car. And um, it's, it literally is just the best. Like, I don't even know what to say. I need a man to take care of me. Yo, I'm in that big boy, bitches can't rent this. I floss every day, but I ain't a dentist. I feel like ever since I got a dog, got tofu, my routine has changed so much. And I think I've only posted tofu on my channel once. It was the last video I uploaded. Um, so now every morning I wake up, I have to make sure he's vibing. I feel like ever since I got a dog, it's made my life so different in like a positive way. It forces me not only to just be productive um, by like getting up early, making sure he's okay, making sure that he's being walked. So it, it forces me to be a lot more social because I feel bad when I just have tofu at home all day. He is a small dog, he does play like at home. It's a three story condo, so like we're constantly going up and down the stairs, but um, having him really forces me to go out, be social, go to the store, things with him, so I don't have him like inside all day. I'm just a little stressed, you know, trying to get everything done. Bitch, I fucking got a car and like, if you have been following me for a hot ass minute, like y'all know that I have never really had reliable cars. Since I got a car, I've never really had reliable cars. Um, I've had two cars in my driving lifetime or whatever, and um, both have left me on the streets many fucking times so interesting having a reliable car because that worry of being stranded on the side of the road is like no longer there um and just being paranoid that something is going to happen while you're driving when i first moved to la i actually had to get rid of my car because it just would not turn on it was sitting in my apartment garage for a year because it did not turn on. My camera cut me off as I was talking about the car thing. I'm just so fucking grateful that I was able to purchase a car, let alone a dream car at this age. I honestly didn't think I would be where I'm at today. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be where I'm at today. Facts, big juicy fucking facts, bitch. Like if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be where I'm at today. And I'm forever fucking grateful just because not only have you guys helped me, but you guys have helped me help my family. I'm gonna be 25, but like to me, I never would have thought I would have been able to do stuff by this age. And just, I'm just fucking grateful. 
I'm just fucking grateful and I'm just so fucking happy. I don't want to seem like I'm that bitch that like brags and shit because I'm not. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so happy that I'm able to do certain things for myself. So I like to just show you guys and hopefully that gives you inspo, you know, motivation, inspires you and like just goes to show that you guys can also do it too because I'm just your basic average ass girl. You know, like I ain't no different than you. Like you can do this shit too. Anyways. Rant over. I'm just fucking trying to. I need to finish doing laundry so I can work out. And um, this is this is one of my favorite Tweety shirts, dude. I'm so obsessed with Tweety. Oh my gosh, like the obsession is literally real. Okay, guys. So I do want to do a little fitness update for you guys since I haven't talked to y'all in like six months. I did unfortunately catch COVID and lost a little over 10 pounds. I didn't eat for like four days straight, was throwing up. It was not fun. So I have been on this like weight gain, strength gain journey since then. And luckily now I am kind of back to where I was, thankfully, because I have been having a structured weight training routine. I've been doing the WBK Fit Challenges, which by the way, there's a new one out. If you want to join Sweat It Out Challenge, link will be in the description box. The last day to enroll is tomorrow i believe so do that if you want to join this is our last challenge of the year but i have been just really prioritizing weight training eating enough getting in enough protein pushing my limits um being consistent of course my endurance is still high key trash i'm kind of bummed that i haven't been able to jump rope as much as i used to but i'm slowly but surely just getting back to where i was but all good over here on this side this is all the clothes that I just washed. Tough, say hi. I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna take, but I'm gonna start to put stuff away and then figure out what what outfits I want to take. Love that toe. <laughs> so this looks very unorganized, but I kind of laid out everything that I think I'm gonna take. Usually, I just lay everything out that I have been wanting to wear or um, that I haven't worn or whatever, or just fall pieces, like seasonal pieces. And then I'll try to construct outfits and then whatever makes it, I roll it up, put it in my suitcase. <laughs> drinking my oxy shred per have a pimple hey guys a little bit of an update i'm in the car now i got tofi a little car seat and he's vibing back there it's just safer because these drives are like six to eight hours sometimes depending on traffic and stuff so you know, this is what we've got going on. I got the pink light on currently, or the magenta light on. It matches with my little Bottega bag, bitch. Oh my god, so fucking cute, I can't. Surprisingly, not that tired. Super excited to go back to the bay. There's a huge storm going on right now. Yeah, hopefully I don't catch it, there's flooding. I love me. I love me enough for the both of us. I can take it. I want to get back to when I was that kid in the basement.
this is the rain room. The water comes down from there. And then this is where it lands. This is what I'm wearing. Currently setting up. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so crazy. I'm literally fucking dead, dude. Makeup is coming off. I went in the water. I'm soaked. Do y'all see this? Like, this is fucking insane, bro. I've been vlogging on my phone this whole time because my camera's dead. I've been having some camera issues and it's just fucking annoying. <laughs> this is probably the craziest shit I've ever done for a shoot. And it was, honestly, it was super fun. I had a good time. I'm so fucking hungry. Typically on shoot days, I don't really eat that much because I hate feeling bloated when I take photos. Um, so I'm really excited to eat. I don't really know what I want to eat, but. know how to start this little introduction this little vid I don't even know like <laughs> I haven't uploaded a video in about six months now it's kind of insane because the six months didn't even feel like six months like I didn't think I was gone for that long up until like a month ago when I checked and I was like oh shit bitch like I haven't uploaded just to be like completely transparent with you guys um, there has been so many changes going on in my life and I'm here to tell you the motherfucking tea Not that there is much tea in my room by the way. I don't even think I've ever shown you guys Th This and my dog Toaf He needs a haircut. He's gonna get a haircut this weekend everybody welcome back and welcome back to my channel It's been six months. I want to just Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna include this in the beginning or in the end of the video, but I do wanna thank you guys for watching this video and just, you know, waiting for my comeback for those of you who were waiting or for those of you who have been requesting. I'm gonna just start off by saying that, I'm not even gonna lie, like these past two years of like living in LA have been so hectic for me. I'm very happy here, but also I have struggled a lot. Like I go through a lot of ups and downs. I already live so far from my family. I already live so far from, from my friends and anybody that I do know in LA that lives in LA, like don't really live that close to me. I obviously talk to a lot of people here. I have a lot of acquaintances here. LA is such a large city and I live like in LA and a lot of the people that I personally know that I follow on social media live on the outskirts of LA. So it's not really easy for me to just link up with people like that. Um, not only that, but up until a few months ago, two months ago, um, I just recently got a car. So the whole time that I was in LA, I did not have a car up until two months ago. So it was not easy to link up with people. Anyways, all of that really took a toll on my mental health. Just not leaving the house and not really seeing my family and all of that stuff. This is by no means to like be like, oh, poor me, because literally no. Bitch, I'm just telling you how it is. But yeah, so um, long story short, I wasn't doing anything. My life was not exciting. My life is not exciting to this day. And I just, it's so hard sometimes when you aren't doing anything to want to film because you're not doing anything that's exciting and fun and you know, all of that stuff. Like I literally went from like being in my hometown, filming with friends, seeing my friends all the time, actually going to a fucking gym. I haven't gone to a gym consistently in two years. And like, yes, I guess a part of that is my fault because I'm being more picky, really picky with the gym that I decide to go to here in LA. But also it's just like, it's just not the same. And like, it's so hard for me to just produce content as if nothing were different because realistically so many things have changed in my life, like so many fucking things. 
and just me myself as a person i've changed so much even in the last six months of me not being on here um i don't know if you guys have noticed like bitch what the fuck if you guys follow me like on other social media platforms, you guys obviously know that the content that I post is not the same, kind of switching up the type of content that I like to post and all of that stuff, which I hope you guys are enjoying because there is going to be a lot of changes moving forward with my content. I feel like I used to only post about fitness and I got caught up being in this like fitness niche, which I love and adore, but also I'm gonna start incorporating different type of content on my channel now, which I think a lot of you guys are excited about because I know that sometimes shit can get so repetitive. As much as you guys just want to get a vlog from me um, with whatever type of content, I hold myself to a certain standard of what I wanna put out because I feel like what I put out is a reflection of me and I never wanna put out something that I don't like. That being said, there's gonna be some fitness content um, along with just other type of content, fashion content, more. I just am so tired of just only focusing on fitness when I have a lot of other passions and aspirations and things I want to do and things I'm working on that I want to just spill the tea on a bitch like you already fucking know like I love fitness but like geez like that's not my fucking it's not that's not just me like it's not just fitness like I do other shit so I'm gonna really try to express that through my channel moving forward it is like a form of art I love editing it I love to like this is what I do and this is what I enjoy doing you know um, I'm sad that I haven't been doing it as consistently but this is still one of my passions and one of the things that I like and one thing that I don't want to do is just put up put out half-assed content just to just put it out or even just to like make money off of it like that's not the type of shit that I do I didn't start doing YouTube for money like I started doing this because this is fun to me and like I don't want to just put out random content that I don't even like just so I can get a YouTube check like that's not how it works for me and that's not how it's ever worked for me really Moving forward you guys are gonna see a mixture of like lifestyle content this content and like fashion-y content and like all of that type of stuff I don't want my content to get repetitive I want my content to feel nice and fresh and cute and fucking just fucking cute okay I'm just gonna evolve my content with how I'm changing as a person I've changed so much in the last six months it's kind of crazy and like so many things in my life have changed as well so i want my content to reflect that and i want you guys to see me go through these changes and you know see me pick up these new hobbies and interests and stuff i have so many things that i'm working on on the low that i don't tell anybody and i'm just so excited to just you know like put out good shit dude like i don't fucking know what i'm saying anymore but um Another thing, so on top of that, like I mentioned, I ended up catching COVID, which really was unfortunate. And whoever has ever caught COVID, you guys know that it's not easy. For some people, I mean, it affects people differently, to be honest. But for me, it was like a rough like two weeks that I was completely out. I was sick, throwing up, fevers, cough. Like I did not eat for like four days and I lost like a little over 10 pounds, which was freaking ass like i was so bummed because i was doing so good with my fitness so that also set me back a lot in regards to content and creating for you guys and just life in general like i had to put my my life on pause for like two months just trying so hard to focus on getting back on track with everything that i'm fucking doing you know so and then on top of that like not seeing family not having a fucking car really don't realize how much you need a car until you don't have one and i low-key cannot believe i did not have a car for two for the first two years of me moving out of my parents house like ridiculous i'm so grateful that i was able to purchase one because fuck bro like having car trouble is the worst and if you are there and if you have been there you fucking know and i'm just so grateful that i now have a vehicle to just drive myself around meeting between juice and, and fucking water what was dude i'm looking kind of pissed off because i was going on a whole ass tangent and then my camera coming off 
when I was talking about like having no friends and shit and now I'm like, wait, what did I talk about and what am I missing? I guess I just want to finish this off with saying that I love living here. I love living in LA. It has came with a lot of struggles far away from everybody and everything I've ever known. Um, and it's hard, like it's just, it's not easy and it's not easy to create content when you're not in the right headspace. I'm so beyond grateful to be living here because I love living here and it's so refreshing to be somewhere different, somewhere um, just around people that can relate to what you do and stuff like that. But it is hard and I'm not even gonna front with you guys. Like I have my moments where I fucking am on a workout roll and I'm working out for like weeks on end and not missing a day and then I there's random times where like I get hit with a fucking stick <laughs> and then I don't work out for like a week and a half or like two weeks sometimes like and you know what I always tell people when they go through phases like that is like just pick up where you left off like it's not that big of a deal um that's just what I do when it comes to those when it comes to you know me going through little phases like that I store I take my dog on walks which is lit and it's super fun I go on walks go on hikes from time to time but I literally haven't even gone to a gym consistently in over and like no in two years I haven't gone to a gym consistently in about two years and it's really frustrating for a fitness influencer to be trying to influence fitness and not even have a gym I'm blessed that I have equipment that I was able to buy equipment during COVID um, so I've been only working out at home from time to time and I've been posting workout videos on my IG and TikTok um, which has been nice. Um, honestly, I don't really want to get into more details on other stuff going on in my personal life just because I don't want to expose too much like so quick. Thank you if you um, watch this video, if you're still keeping up with me on Instagram and on here and on my other social media platforms Like I really appreciate it so much. Hope you guys are Excited for the new content and the new I guess little almost like rebrand I'm about to have because I am I tweeted this one quote out the other day Not the other day, but like maybe like two weeks ago basically just saying how like as much as I love the old me for getting me where I'm at today, like I'm just so ready to let her go and I'm so ready to start fresh and I'm so ready to just leave everything that happened in the past in the past and like trauma and like random shit that like was weird and like I'm just so ready to move forward and not necessarily delete but just close that chapter. Like I'm ready to close that old Daisy up in a book you know put a little picture of her in there close her up and then just you know say deuces and like welcome in this new daisy that's like working towards other things just constantly evolving and changing and um i'm not gonna pretend to be like the old me when like i'm currently going through changes just because that's how i started you know that's how i started um social media and stuff so um i hope you guys are excited <laughs>